Jackie Wong? Nothing at this time. Do you think this killing means there is some kind of war going on in the Chinatown Tongs? No, I don't. This is basically a situation where the youth gangs are lashing out at the establishment. The community's cooperating. The situation's under control. no kid listen no news this week but i got some pretty good uptown you should try give you a taste for nothing grease ball don't listen so good lenny what are you talking about hey long ago hey you got some wine on me i thought it was loud and clear this is our street now you want to stay on this street you pay us like everybody else hey come on ronnie me you want to extort money from me you know who you're talking to here you know who my cousins are? A sick lantern, they love your being like on the tenant here. I fuck your cousins. No one rides free anymore. You owe me money. It's 300 a week you operate out of here. Four weeks, that's 1200 bucks you owe. You come across Canal Street and start throwing your weight around here? You little chink scumbag, you're gonna end up with a wire around your fucking neck. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. I'm your hey, only. Get... <laughs> Jackie Wong was more than the unofficial mayor of Chinatown, that he was also the head of a secret triad. Jackie Wong, uh, no question, will be missed. He was loved, he made money for his people, but the head of a secret triad? There's no triads in New York. I'm sure, Captain McKenna, you've at least heard old rumors that Wong's successor, Harry Young, was a corrupt Hong Kong policeman who came here with $15 million. $15 million? That's a good one. Somebody should tell Harry Young that. No further comments at this time. Okay. You're a hell of a reporter, honey. You're talking to a guy with a bag on his head, cotton in his ears, and a stick up his ass. You just stick around, you might learn something. Who are you? Just ask for Stanley White. Which Stanley White? Only one Stanley White. Hello, Will. How's the view up there? I see a long way. Still believe in keeping a uh, high police profile, huh? You wore your uniform once in a while, White. You know the police visibility is the strongest deterrent to crime. Well, Will, it doesn't look like you're deterring too much around here lately. Aren't you in the wrong precinct, Captain? Not really. They gave me a new command. Oh, yeah? What'd they give you? Chinatown. That's right, Will. They just cut off your oats. Why? Because of this? How was I supposed to prevent this? How am I supposed to prevent anything around here? Come on, Will. I'll buy a cup of coffee. Uh, what the hell? I told you before, man! No pictures! Right there. Get Laura Wong. Get the close-up. Come on. That's the daughter. I'm not. 
not gonna tell you people hey, to move don't against touch me. the camera. Don't touch the camera. Just 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 touch No problem. Looking for Uncle Harry. Uncle Harry? What are you doing, my boy? Don't! Where's Harry? Not here, quite long. Maybe bank. Why? You think you're going to do me? I'm going to need. You tell Harry I'm coming over. Juba! We should all have a little talk, seeing we're both new at our jobs. Why did you go to the gambling places, huh? We have the same arrangement over a long period of time. No policeman ever go to gambling club. Foolish man, rude. I'm going to have to tell your superiors. Well, it won't be the first time, Uncle Harry. I'm glad you guys are here. Saves me some lung power. This is it. I'll give it to you fast. There's a new marshal in town. Me. New marshal means new rules. New rules means no more street violence. You call it the gangs. I don't want to see their fucking faces unless they're bringing me spare ribs in a restaurant. I don't care what you do. Get them jobs catching cockroaches. I don't care, but you get them off the streets. Nobody can control the gang. Everybody knows that. Too big a problem. Captain, Chinatown behind you all the way in favor of what you do. You take gang kid in the alley. You put back over the head. You beat them with club. Chinatown behind you. 100%. 100%. Good. Good. Because I'm going to need your help. I'm going to put a stop to all this bribe paying and extortion to the gangs. And I want the help of all 60 families. 60 uh, families? No, Merchant no, Association. No, 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 no. So I want you wait people. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Captain. This is very difficult, very, very difficult. It's a long history. For thousands of years, Chinese do not go to the police. If they go to the police, they'll get in trouble. So, I'll tell you straight. Nobody will come to see you. No one. 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 No
No disrespect is intended to the police by our remarks. But if the citizens of Chinatown regard what you call extortion and bribery as part of the course of doing business, and have felt that way for thousands of years, why should you be so concerned? What about the ones that don't want to pay? You call me the devil. No, Captain. When I first came to New York, I worked as a waiter in a restaurant. I saw something terrible happen because my boss did not want to pay. I signed a complaint against a gang leader who was arrested. Next day, he was out on the streets again. Now, six months go by before his trial, and the police chief was transferred to the Bronx. This was, what, uh, six, uh, six or seven chiefs before McKenna. Seven. And the new chiefs dropped the charges. Three months later, I got stabbed right here. Sure, see? You must understand, Captain. To us, your good Samaritan was a fool to risk the security of his family to help a stranger. Uh, you're too impressed with yourself. Fuck you. What did you say? I said, fuck you. I'm tired of all this Chinese this, Chinese that. You people, you think gambling, extortion, corruption are kosher? Because it's a thousand years old? Well, all this thousand-year-old stuff, it's a lot of shit to me. This is America you're living in, and it's 200 years old, so you better get your clocks fixed. You're not special, and you're not beyond the law any more than the Puerto Ricans or the Polacks. So we're all going to obey the law the way it says. So start doing something about it and fast. We're all going to suffer. You can believe that. He's early. He's always early. I got a complaint about you already. Well, there's a line around the block. Uh, Harry Young was very upset about you busting into his place of business on a day of morning. He says you're threatening the arrangement we've always had with these people. Is that true? Well, what is this arrangement? I mean, is it carved in stone? Did it come out of a burning bush or something? Well, what the hell did you rush in there for? You made them lose face. You made us lose face. You got no respect. They were just sitting there having breakfast. What kind of evidence did you have to go in there like that? That's the point, Lou. With these people, you're not going to have any evidence. You're talking shit, Stanley. Lou, I didn't buy this job at Macy's. You gave it to me. And I told you to kick ass on the youth gangs, not the old guys. You lay off them, you hear? The fifth precinct's a nice, quiet area, Stanley. A good springboard for promotion, if you get my meaning. Lou, I've been down there one goddamn day. It doesn't take a genius to figure out something's going on. There's gonna be blood flowing in the gutters. These Chinese are gonna muscle across the canal. They're gonna push the mafia out. I'm talking banks, real estate, drug Who money. Who told you all this? The DEA? They've been peddling a cock and bullshit Chinese mafia theory for years, and they never made a case in Chinatown. I wouldn't believe nothing those clowns Well, said. Lou, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. The mafia concept's not even Italian. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. <laughs> it was invented in China 1,000 years ago. They call them triads. Triads. That's what we have here. We have the offshoots of the Hong Kong triads. The Hong Kong triads. Stanley, you're letting your imagination run. No, no, like hell I am. These people are the biggest overall importers of heroin in this country. And the fact that we don't have one single bust against one of these guys tells me something. They're smart, Lou. They're smarter than you are and Kearney, this Irish sphinx over here. At least I didn't change my name, Wazinski. What do you want? You want to attack Chinatown with the 82nd Airborne? <laughs> You're not in Vietnam here, Stanley. There the difference was I never saw the goddamn enemy. 
Here, they're right in front of my eyes. They got no place to hide, no jungle. Stanley, this is just like the South Bronx and Red Hook. You got a bunch of juvenile delinquents, youth gangs. Call them what you want. Snot-nosed chinks, scumbags. Now go and kick their asses. That's what you're good at. Youth gangs? Lou, these are midget hitmen. You know what your problem is, Stanley? Oh. You move through this department like a piece of heavy machinery. Nobody likes you, Stanley. They all tell you you're a great cop, but they don't like you. So what? Just put my request through, will you? Kearney, it's a pleasure talking to you. It's like one hand clapping. All of a sudden, this job's made you an expert! You gotta think for chinks. washing machine again. While I was at it, I fixed the sink. Jesus. Connie, why don't you ever call the repairman? You're living in the past, Stanley. You find one. Hey, look at this mess. Buy me a new machine. But don't break my ball, Stanley. I've been trying to fix this thing for three hours, and I'm not in the mood. Hey, I didn't say anything. Yeah, but you were gone, or weren't you? I can always tell when you're ball-breaking mood. Honey, what the hell's wrong with you? I walk in the door, you don't even say hello. You don't smile. All you do is you say, Stanley, don't break my balls. I mean, what kind of relationship is this? You don't care about our relationship. I do care. I do care about our relationship. Oh, come on. I just want to know why you're so angry all the time. Well, Stanley, it's because you have become an arrogant, self-centered, condescending son of a bitch. Well, you have to admit, Connie, there's a lot to be arrogant about. Oh, don't start, okay? I'm not taking any more of your shit, Stan. You want to fix the fucking wash machine? You go ahead and fix it. <sighs> Jesus. You fix it. I gotta go to work. Hey, look, and I'm not having such a great day either, you know. I thought you said you had the night off. I thought maybe we could go out or something. They shifted me back to nights. What is biting your ass? Don't tell me it's the wash machine. No. Nothing. Because I don't expect anything from you anymore, Stanley. Well, what is that supposed to mean? It means you bombed out. You forgot. You weren't here. You missed target practice. What? Wednesday. Wednesday. It's the day of my ovulation. I forgot. <laughs> don't bullshit me, Stan. I don't like it. I'm getting the picture, okay? It's clear as ice. You really wanted a kid. Of course I want a kid. No. No. You take care of yourself a bit. You'd sleep decent hours, you'd eat regular, you'd take your vitamins. You promised me you'd take your vitamin E. I paid 50 bucks for this. And you'd screw me once in a while at the right time of the month. How the hell do you stand a chance when you're not even home for a week at a time? Hey, I'm sorry. I know you're sorry. You said that last month and the month before that. All right, I'll tell you what. Next month, we'll take a weekend off. We'll go up to that place in the Poconos, place your brother-in-law's always talking about. You know, the place with the heart-shaped tubs. I mean, we could try there. Don't give me all that. Don't treat me like an idiot. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work.
I didn't think you'd show up. Well, I guess I had to get a closer look at the jerk who insulted me on the street. What would you like to drink? Tea. Why didn't you tell me who you were? Hostile, aren't you? I showed up, didn't I? Why don't you have some spare ribs? They have great spare ribs here, but lousy lighting. You ever wonder about that? You know, the inside of a Chinese restaurant makes you feel like you're inside a motor vehicle bureau? I feel like I'm waiting for an eye test. But you know, the atmosphere is not a thing. Besides, I like Italian food better anyway. I'm impressed. Are you doing your homework? I'm scratching the surface. So you from Hong Kong? No. American born. San Francisco, the Bay Area. How many generations of your people been here? My great-grandfather came, worked in the railroads, went back. My grandfather worked in a gold mine. He also went back. They all went back because the law wouldn't allow their wives to come over. Finally, my father married a Japanese woman and settled here in the 40s. Yeah, I know the story. It's a pretty sad one. Thousands of you Chinese came over here and you died building the railroads in this country. It says so right here. Their bones are scattered all over the West. We don't even know their names. There's a photograph here, Promontory Point, Utah, 1869. It's where the Union and Central Pacific first met. Take a look at it, what do you see? What do you see? You see the bosses, you see the politicians, you see the bankers, you see the Irish workmen. There's not one single solitary Chinaman. They weren't even asked to show up. They died anonymous. Goddamn people, they keep everything a secret. I know the story, Captain. Yeah, well, most people don't. Because no one remembers in this country. No one remembers anything. You sound just like my father. Well, he sounds like a great guy. What does he do? He's in shipping. Now, what's your story? Me? What's there to say? Uh, I'm Polish. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm a cop. But I happen to be the most decorated cop in the city of New York. I'm talking action decorated, no best citations here. I'm sure about that. But I gotta admit, I saw you a few times on the tube. I don't watch much television, but I, uh, I think you're pretty good. A hell of a lot sexier than those broads on the other channels, though. Oh, well, Captain, very pleased you've come. Hello. Uncle Young, you know Tracy Sue? So? Oh, yes, very pleased you've come. This is my wife, Mr. So seen. Captain, do you like Chinese champagne? This is very good. This is on the house, huh? Thanks, Harry, but no thanks. I pay my own way. Fish stinks from the head, does it not? The Chinese eat the head, Captain. Enjoy. Uh, hey, it looks like champagne anyway. I think you upset him. I certainly hope so. <laughs> Look at it this way. Harry Young is the head of the richest Tong in Chinatown. He's got to be involved in the Chinese mafia. Even if he isn't doing anything, he's got to be doing something. And if I can nail the son of a bitch, and he's got face, I get face. And if I get face, I can win the war in Chinatown. Captain, why did you call me? And what do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want the rice to boil over in Chinatown. I want to change things. Why? Is Chinatown so bad the way it is? It stinks. The Harry Young's got this place locked up like a jail. You've got a slave population of sweatshop women working for 12 cents a piece. You got shopkeepers paying bribes to every punk that comes along. You got 30 people living in a room. 
You got the highest rate of TB and mental illness in any city neighborhood. You got a male population. Look, I'm a reporter. I am not a crusader. You're an actress. I can help you. How? I'll give you hard facts off the record. You do one of those exposés on Chinatown. One week, you do the gambling connection. The next week, you do the youth gang extortion racket. You move up the ladder. The bosses that own the places. You splash their faces on the tube. Take a little journalistic license, you know what I mean. Each week, we peel another layer off the onion. I mean, if it was some white broad, they'd say it's racist. But with you, they got to figure it's on the up and up. This is outrageous. There are boundaries, Captain White. Ethics. The press is independent. It's not just another undercover cop. What you're asking for is absurd. It's almost criminal. You wouldn't know a real criminal if one popped out of the toilet and spit you on the ass. I don't think there's any point in going on with this. You sit down, you get smart, you listen to me. Go fuck yourself. Toronto 我們參觀我們開炮和近來這些事
。嗱，半年前開咗炮之後，而家餐館方面都做得七成生意嘅啫。嗱，呢啲意大利仔呢，仲係好嬲，關於我哋 Candy Store 嗰件事。屌你老母，我哋同你合作咗幾耐啦，仲係當我哋好似二奶仔咁嘅喎。喺我哋背後呢，佢叫我哋 Yellow Niggers， 係咪啊 ？Our banking and shipping profits are all down. Gold prices are slumping. Our stocks are sluggish. Our commodity position has slipped. There's no new money coming in, gentlemen. <sighs> It's only a question of time before the Vietnamese start competing with our gambling profits. And uh, this new policeman making rude noises about Chinatown and justice and all. I think you guys are very proud of the people of the world. 但我提議，我哋而家需要一個強硬啲嘅領導人。講到我咩？啊，阿振啦，俾你再講啲啦，俾你再傾偈啦。你講關於我哋啲生意呢一樣嘢咧，係真。如果我哋俾你去做啊，你會點做呢？第一件事，最緊要咧，公落台嘅時候咧，我做得好好睇睇，係咪啊？咁第二呢，我會揾到呢班搞起餐館嘅人，咁我又會去啊 Thailand 同啊 Ben Sam 針下我哋嗰啲貨啊，係咪啊 ？Then there is the matter with the Italians.、Mm. It is perhaps time to consider ending the old arrangement with them. Do like they do. Sell directly to the blacks and Puerto Ricans. Morning, Commissioner. Anything to tell me on the Wild West show at the Shanghai Palace last night? Yes, sir. Our information is that it was an East Broadway gang. We're checking on it right now. I wouldn't bet on that information, sir. You know something your commanding officers don't know? No, sir. It's just that our street information in Chinatown hasn't been right so far. We're the last ones to know what's going on there. But the important thing is that both of these punks were hit, and it's going to be hard for them to hide. And if I can get to them, and I will, then I got one hand on their balls. Captain White is speaking for himself, sir. I don't care who he's speaking for. I know this. These punks are whacking out people left and right. Tourists. I just spent the last half hour on the phone getting my ass chewed out by the mayor, who was mighty pissed off. And so am I. What the hell has happened to Chinatown? It was never like this. The causes of this run deep, sir. Be that as it may, I want this crap stopped, and I want it stopped now. Our heads are going to roll. Am I making myself clear to you people? Yes, boss. You want some fast results, Commissioner? No bullshit. Let me have one Chinese undercover cop, and I'll penetrate these fuckers just like we did the Colombians out in Stanley, Queens. Stanley, what are you talking about? Are you taking this request to your commanding officer? Yes, sir, and it was ignored. As was my warning that the gutters were going to run red with blood. The request is under consideration, Commissioner. This kid he wants is a trainee. He's already got six Chinese cops. I got six too many, Commissioner. I got six Chinese cops down there. No one talks to. They treat him like lepers. This kid Herbert Kwong, he's from the Kwangtung province of China, and no one knows him down there. And he don't know shit from Shinola. He needs another hundred hours minimum. We don't have another hundred hours. Give him what he wants now, and get some results. Nobody does what you did in here. Nobody.
Look down at the muzzle of the gun. Make sure it's aligned with the target. Do not, do not bury your head in that gun. Think of what you're doing. On the whistle. You're going to fire six rounds from the close combat position and free. Your time limit will be... Are you sure about this? Three yeah. seconds. Three seconds for six rounds. And you will freeze in that position. You will not move. Okay, Go Joey Ty? Harry Young, Fred Hung, Uncle Milton Ben? No, sir. Well, you're going to. Eight out of 98. Because you're going to put them to sleep at night. You're going to wake them up in the morning. I want to know where they go, who they see. And when you're not doing that, you're going to monitor a wiretap on these guys. Watch you, will you? You drive worse than you shoot. I told you, stay out of the left lane, all right? Yes, sir. What hours am I working? Hours, forget it. You're on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, what about sleep? Forget sleep. Nothing sleeps the good reason. But I got a second job. Hey, Herbert, quit. I'm serious. You want to be a cop or you want to fuck around? I don't understand. What's the point of the exercise? It's not an exercise, Herbert. We're dealing with the Chinese mafia. We eat people like you for breakfast. <laughs> Jesus, I told you, stay out of the left lane. Did you ever notice this? These Chinese guys are always blocking traffic. They drive like their music from right to left. <laughs> Come on, fucking boy. Did you ever see a uh, Chinese Grand Prix driver? <laughs> huh? No. Goddamn, Cap doesn't know how to drive. Come on! Planet is in the house. There's someone trying to get a rear yard All right, that's us. You're out. Out of the car. You're undercover now. Out! Out! Get out! Three worse, White.
on, Perez, Captain. Nobody, of course, saw nothing. Most of these people are illegal. They're sweating a bust. The building and the farm are registered to one Tan Wan Lo. He lives in Hong Kong. We're checking it out, but if you ask me, he's probably been dead for 10 years. The building ownership down here makes a Chinese fire drill look organized. Where are they? Tony, get out here! This is a guy that tipped us. He calls himself Tony. Says he's been working down here 40 years. Tony, you want to show the captain what you showed me? Oh, I said Tony, I'm going to bring you. You're a good man, Tony. Not too many of you left. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. All good men gone. Long time. Everything changed. Young people, no respect. Steal, shoot, kill like white man. Chinese man is not afraid to work hard. I worked 40 years here. I put every dollar in Chase Man Bank. Young people have no respect no more. Old man afraid. Not me. Not me. I've been here a long time. I have seen many things. I see things a lot of people don't even think I see. Tony, there should be more men like you. Bullshit! Tina,你被好曬,咁去抽天光面。我我明白你唔好再擔心,我幫你預備好曬,咁啊天啊,抽天就加林比亞大學度,咁你唔好再擔心啦,好嗎?多謝。那天啊,係好唔容易㗎,
By the way, you must have heard we dug up those two midgets. They hit Harry's place. Found them in a soybean basement. No, I didn't. My guess is somebody didn't want us to find them. You don't think it might have been the friends of the boy who was killed? Well, if you accept the surface of things, Joey, which most people do, why the bodyguard? Does it come with the new title or what? Just a precaution. There's been too much violence. Yeah, I agree. The thing is, what are you and I going to do about it? Mm, Tim, come out. Are you enticing yeah. those to be conquered and coming to the conqueror? <laughs> You should try our exploding lobster. My chef does it better than anybody in the world. I brought him from home. Hey, what do you want, Joey? Spit it out. Cigarette? No. This is not the Bronx or Brooklyn. It's not even New York. Try the town fight. It can be very easy, or it can be very hard. Well, why don't you make it easy? I'll help you get some of these renegade youths, witnesses, evidence, everything you need. You'll get headlines, your superiors will relax, and everybody happy. And then you can stay in Chinatown, no transfer, and we can do business. You understand what I am saying to you, Mr. White? Yeah. I get the punks. What do you want in return? Nothing. Just work with us. Chinese people come here to prosper, not to change things. You know, this uh, cross-eyed conversation we're having, Joey, gets me confused. See, I'm a stupid Polak, a peasant. You gotta make things real clear to me. Sure. How clear do I make it? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm thinking. Would a contract with us for security work after you retire be what you need? We got some late night club you could keep an eye on. Could mean a hundred thousand a year. And we could put it anywhere in the world. Yeah, I don't think a hundred thousand is gonna be enough. Okay. How much then? I'll take the same amount that you're going to make off your next 50 keys of heroin. <laughs> At last, the clouds part to show the true sky. You know, most drug dealers are morons, Joey, but I got to hand it to you. You one silky son of a bitch. This the way you deal with the Italians? This the way you moved out Harry Young? How about your father-in-law, Jackie Wong? You know, rumor has it it was your hand that was on the knife that killed him. You're a smart guy, go, Joey. But you made one mistake. I'm not Italian. I'm a Polak. <laughs> and I can't be bought. I'm gonna burn you down. I'm gonna drag you and your dirty laundry out on the street. And I'm gonna humiliate you. You are very stupid. And you're not gonna last. I'll last long enough to piss on your grave. Hey, look, you 
you're right. I thought it over. I tried very hard to suppress it, but I think there's definitely something between us. Why don't you get in the car? I'll drive you home. You know, I'm not some gook hooker on the streets of Saigon. Am Louis, if the plop. Does that work with all the girls? Come see, come sa. Hey, listen, why don't you give me a break? It's not every day I get to meet a famous person. Listen, I got a legitimate story for you. Want some wine? White or red? Both. Wow, this is some place. Hey, listen, forget what I said in the restaurant. I know you've got your ethics. I respect that. Listen, you know, you've got a great human interest story in uh, Joey Pai. Kid from the slums of Kowloon comes over here, works his way up, marries the boss's daughter, maybe knocks off the boss, becomes the boss. I mean, that's the American dream. Why don't you shine a light on this son of a bitch? What if he's involved in nothing? What if he's just... Successful businessman like my father. And hey, the Chinese are always involved in something. They're never involved in nothing. Remember that. You're really cracked, you know that? The first time I saw you, I knew you were cracked. And a racist, too. Were you in Vietnam? Yeah, why? I knew it. It ruined you. First time I saw you, I hated your guts. I think I even hated you before I ever met you. I hated you on TV. I hated you in Vietnam. You want to know what's destroying this country? It's not booze. It's not drugs. It's TV. It's media. It's people like you. Vampires. I hate the way that you make your living sticking microphones in people's faces. I hate the way you lie every night at six o'clock. I hate the way you kill real feelings. I hate everything that you stand for. Most of all, I hate rich kids. And I hate this place. So why do I want to fuck you so bad? Maybe you're right. Maybe I got no ethics. I can't. Stop it. What do you mean you can't? I just spent all afternoon here making love with my boyfriend. I can't. Just why'd you invite me here? What year are you living in? We're not in the back seat of some car to drive in. You don't have to get your money's worth. Well, so who is he? What's his name? What is he, rich? You want to know if he's Chinese, right? That's what you want to know. So ask it. Yeah, that's the question. So why don't you answer it? He's white, all right. He went to Princeton. His name's Roger. And he's a lawyer. Well, I hate lawyers. And I wouldn't want to make love to a woman who just got done screwing a lawyer anyway. What's he got, money? Yes. Roger Pumpernickel III. And he's not a crackpot racist. He's a gentleman. Oh, yeah. What does he do? He plays tennis and golf and uh, goes out sailing on a yacht. What's with all these machines here? What are you, at AT&T? What are you, you got everybody in town jumping in and out of your bed? You're acting like a child. Well, a great man is one who in manhood still keeps the heart of a child. Why don't you go home? I could see this was a big mistake. Yeah, it was a mistake. It was a giant mistake. It was a giant mistake. I'm gonna go home to a woman who at least acts like a woman. This Roger's so great. How come he didn't marry you? What's the matter? He didn't want a little slant-eyed Roger IV at Princeton? I don't know. We've never discussed it. We just meet here to fuck. <clears throat> I 
want to arrest the gang members for loitering, spitting in the gutter, anything. What about the civil rights? Fuck the civil rights. I want the honchos around here to go ape shit. I want to disrupt the entire commerce of Chinatown. Do you understand me? I want chaos. You know, you people, you're starting to look like the Chicago Cubs. I'm not kidding. You look like you already lost. The world has fucked you over. So now you don't give a shit. I know. I've been there. I've been in the job 15 years. I know all the stories. My heart has been broken a hundred times. I've got scar tissue on my soul. But let me tell you something. I give a shit. And I'm gonna make you people give a shit. I don't care what you think of me. You guys are gonna go through the numbers on this one. Now that's it, get out of here. Whoa! One last thing. The next cop that I hear about who's taking money in this precinct, I'm going to personally bust them the out. Are there any questions? What if it's a woman? She better bend over. Chinatown. Today, there were 43 gang arrests, three gambling parlors raided, six sweatshops busted, and now, in an opening blow at the man who's been called the godfather of Chinatown, Joey Tai. Captain White has padlocked his restaurant on a health violation. Needless to say, a crackdown is in the works, and although District Attorney Jane Katzman denies it, a major drug conspiracy case is rumored to be pending against various respected older members of the Chinatown ruling elite. Mr. Tai, can you tell us if there is such a thing as the Chinese Mafia? Sounds very exciting, like a comic book. The existence of triads is documented by the Drug Enforcement Agency. Documentation without proof. This farce is further evidence of the consistent discrimination against Chinese in this country. Mr. Tai, are you saying there is no criminal element in all of Chinatown? Of course not. But why do you media people insist on emphasizing this sinister Charlie Chan image? Why don't you talk about the chair in Chinese history, our association as endowed at Yale University? Or our $12 million fund for our 10,000 members, a free meal for the aged and the unemployed, free burial, things like that. Positive things. Mr. Tai, what is your comment on Jackie Wong? Mr. Tai, do you have any comment on Jackie Wong? I'm really happy you're okay. My doctor would kill me if he knew I was ill. They just took my boy's mouth down. They keep taking things out. I have nothing left, Fred, but my brain. My brain says I'd rather do business with a smart thief than an honest man who is stupid. 
a stupid man is dangerous. Like a defective time bomb. You never know when it's gonna go off on you. But a thief, you can control what he steals. I think, Teddy, you're going to find Joey a very smart young man. Not cautious as Jackie or Harry, but aggressive. He wants power. All young men want power. That's what it means to be young, Fred. I want to see his face, his eyes. I want to know if he's reckless. One look in his eyes, I will know. Bring him in. But leave the nigger outside. My esteemed friends have been very diplomatic. A little background noise, but it's not too bad. The point, Mr. Tedesco, is that we are happy to let you continue the distribution of our software. But with a 50% reduction in volume and at a reduced fee, something like 17 or 18%. The rest stays with us till we weigh other offers. Jackie Warren made these arrangements with me. We were pioneers when you were stuck in your mother's death. And I don't see why anything should change now. Because Jackie Warren is dead. And Harry Young has stepped down and I am the talk one now. Hey, hey, Joey. And I say we can't afford to sell to old man the old way. You know, Fred, in all my years, Nobody, and I mean nobody's ever talked to me like that. Nobody. No insult was intended, Mr. Tedesco. But you people don't control Canal Street anymore. We do. I think when you think through my offer to you, you see that it's not unprofitable to both sides. Who are you going to sell to? The niggers? The spigs? You people don't have that kind of way there. They will bury you so fast like you never was here. And if they don't, I will. You're flying too high, kid. And the air is very thin up there. Hey, hey, Joey. Hey, Joey, I'm going to get a bit of a Hey, I'm going you got anything? It seems to be mostly financial talk, Captain. There's mention of some problem in China. A man in Bangkok is saying something about Oh, I'm not quite sure about what. Hey, okay. Okay. But he's very angry about a group from Toronto that calls itself the Nam Song. Sister, you, you got to be more precise. It's going to be very difficult, Captain. It's been many years since we've heard the Hakka dialect spoken. They're talking around things, not about them. Damn it, sister, that's the point. They're not going to spell it out for you. This is drug talk. You gotta use your imagination. Listen. You look like you don't eat enough to keep a bird alive. Why don't you have some real food? Captain White, I've managed to live 75 years without your help, eating precisely what I'm eating now. My body fat is 12%. My blood pressure is 120 over 80. My lymphocyte count is 22%. And if you want to compare white blood cells and red blood cells, I might even outlast you, Captain. Red meat eater that you obviously are. Copy that. The perpetrator is saying he's flying into Bangkok next week. He's flying under another name. OK, he's making his move. I want you to get the DEA on his tail. Call the Bangkok police, whatever you got to do to eyeball this scumbag while he's over there. I'm sorry, sister. I just wish the fuck I could go there myself. Come on, back on the street. That'll be the day the NYPD springs for a ticket to Hong Kong, huh? You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. 
Rizzo, come on. I want you to hit Chinatown like Genghis Khan. I want restaurant health violations. I want immigration buses. meant to shake up the gang kids, not turn the whole goddamn city upside down. Let me make this real clear to you right here and now. Joey Ty goes to the Manhattan Borough President, who he contributes $100,000 a year to, right? The Borough President goes to the mayor, the mayor goes to me, and the word is, lay off. That is the way the game is played, okay? No more wiretaps on Joey Ty. And you don't go to the Drug Enforcement Agency. Going to outside agencies isn't your job, it is Lou's job. And what about the Dead Tourists Commissioner, huh? I guess they don't add up to a can of sardines, do they? You know, you change your tune pretty fast just because that slime bag is having tea with the mayor. You can't link Joey tie to that, and you know it. The point here is you cease and desist. Hey, yeah, what if I don't, huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna suspend me? What's that gonna look like in the papers, Commissioner? You tell me. First, you suspend the most decorated cop in the city. Second, you call off an investigation into the Chinese Mafia. What investigation? What Chinese Mafia? The investigation's in your mind. What's it gonna look like? You tell me, Commissioner. Your department's gonna look like shit, that's why. You trying to blackmail me, what? Yeah, you call it what you want. I've been swallowing the bullshit around here for 10 years, and I'm choking on it. You ever think about your pension, Mike? Fuck the pension. That's what's wrong with this whole goddamn police department. Everybody's so worried about their pension. Stanley. Oh. Never in the history of the department have I ever heard anything like this. This is a fucking disgrace. Hello. This is a fucking war, and I'm not gonna lose it. Not this one. Not over politics. It's always fucking politics. This is Vietnam all over again. Nobody wants to win this thing, do you? Just... Flat out win, do they, Luke? You go to the press again, White, you know what you're doing? You're putting a gun to my head, Stanley. That's who we are. We're four guys in a room with a gun to our heads. Kenny, will you step outside for a minute? Listen to this crap no more, Stanley. I can't watch a good man piss his career down the drain like this. You never had any respect for anything, did you? First you throw away your loving wife. Shut up, Lou. You don't know what you're talking about. And now about. you're turning on us because you got delusions of grandeur or something sucking up to this chink reporter to get your face all over the tube. What is it with you? You gonna chink on us? You do it sideways or something? Take it back, Lou. Don't tell me to take it back. You got no shame. Connie was the best thing you ever had in your life. No. That wasn't between cops. That was between two guys from the old neighborhood. Oh, I'm sorry. We're fighting. I love you. I love Connie. But when, when things aren't working at all, maybe you start overreacting to things on the street. We all had things when we were young. I'm not a prude. Why don't you at least sit down with Connie and try to straighten this out, huh? Even if you walk away, do you walk away friends? Because no one's going to care when you're lying in your grave but Connie and me. Well, what are you going to do, Stanley? I don't know. All I know is that when I give up, the system gives up.
are. And what are you doing with that? These are my Chinese books. I'm moving in. You what? Did I misinterpret what you were saying to me the other night when I was lying on top of you? Fuck you. What's the matter with you Chinese? Why don't you ever come out and say what you're really thinking? I'm going to call Roger. Go ahead and call him. I got something I want to say to him, too. Go away, will you, Stanley? You're cracked. You're really crazy. Did you ever listen to yourself? Come on, tell me, tell me the truth. There is no Roger, is there? You know how I know? It's because when you talk about him, your eyes, they're not real. There is a Roger. Well, tell me what you see in this guy. Come on, tell me. I want to know. I want you to look me in the eyes, and I want you to say it. What do I have to do to get you out of here? Holy God. Nothing. It's hopeless. Surrender. <laughs> hmm. Why am I laughing? <laughs> I'm becoming a crazy like you. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I think I need to sleep. Maybe everybody's right. I'm chasing something that doesn't exist. How to stop it. Jesus, I'm tired. It's the same thing as in Nam. We lost because you were smarter than us. And you couldn't even have a decent parade. A fucking Chinese parade that come at you in 15 different directions. Fucking joke. I just want to be with somebody tonight. I just... I don't know anybody else. Isn't that a real laugh? <laughs> I don't know anybody. <laughs> I feel like such an asshole. No Chinese word for love. I'm serious. I know you are. Bad enough doing business with the old general, that double dealing slime.
the Van Sung's even worse. But you lose all face by going up there to deal with him direct. Van Sung's got an ego like a fucking octopus. I know, but I don't trust his agent here. The mother was fuck right out of my nose. Van Sung's got a bumper crop of 150 to 200 tons. Marvin and 6,000 a key, plus a shipment of a collection of carp assault rifles. Hey! <笑>见了你好 不过,下手的这个王八蛋,比那些从虎尸屁股钻进去吃那一脏的臭乌鸦还不如。简直是太下流了,太卑鄙了。还有一个新的消息啊,这小子啊,最近在图上做,用惹是生非。我真是冒塞对开了<笑> 
washing my face. Honey, I'd feel a whole lot better if you just keep the house. And the bank accounts. I mean, whatever is mine is yours. I don't want the house anyway. Long time no see, Jodai. It's an honor and a pleasure to see you again, General. Time looks like it's been good to you. And to you too, honorable cousin. The last time, as I remember, both of us were taking orders. Now we give them. Mm -hmm. How is the health of our old friend, the great Samu Guang? who paved the golden road of our success together. Truly, he is one of the great ones. He'll be happy to see you, Gojo. I think so. Come. I think we'll surprise him.
Perhaps. The general doesn't recognize you. The general likes heroin in his suit. Keeps him happy. Thank all God. He feels no pain. Come. Go joy. A Kalashnikov. Best rifle ever made. The Russians used to give them to us to fight the Burmese. But now it's hard to get. They want dollars. Everybody wants dollars. One bullet. By the time it gets to me, costs me one American dollar. Dollars are like small fish. Difficult to catch, but not to be thrown back except as bait for something bigger. I'll make it 4,500 a kilo. You give me a 6,500. And uh, I refine it to number four right here myself. No, no. You'll have 200 keys in Bangkok in two weeks. Dagunai! You know, we can't control the quality unless we refine it to stage four ourselves. We've always bought stage three from you. You don't think my dragon pearl is good? I have the best chemist in the world. Maybe. But better than your people in Hong Kong. Oh, but then oh. we would be forced to unemploy our chemists. Go joy. I offer you the chance of putting an old friend out of his misery. He was going to betray us to the American. Hold him! You don't have the bullet to spare. Each bullet can kill one Burmese soldier. Then you don't have to use a gun. I'll buy him from you. Five thousand dollars. Buy? U.S. dollars, cash, now. Why? Why not? If you think this shit face old worm is worth five thousand dollars. Good! <laughs> the food's been great, and your hospitality has left an impression, General. But time is pressing. I must be in Hong Kong before the banks close on Friday. My final offer. I'll make a 4,900 a key for your number three, Dragon Pearl. I'll take 200 kilos deliverable in Bangkok in early next week. Another 800 kilos for the next three months. Beyond that, I'm not prepared to go. White powder mass offer makes you as insignificant. Piss on him. Now, I'm soon trying this like dog shit, littering the streets. They'll be extinct in two years. I think perhaps I put my money on white powder ma. I think so. I think White Powder Ma will be pleased to hear this. Tell him yourself, General. I give to Fensan in honor of our association. Let no motherless fuck ever raise his head again between us. Niech będzie pochwalony Jezus Chrystus. Na wieki wieków. Amen. W imię Ojca i Syna i Ducha Świętego. Amen. Ojciec Miłosierdzia i Bóg wszelkiej pociechy niech będzie z wami wszystkimi. Bracia i siostry, zgromadziliśmy się, aby pożegnać naszą siostrę Tani. Jej śmierć napełniła bólę. Jej męża, rodziny, przyjaciół i wielu z nas. Wszyscy bierzemy udział w ich cierpieniu i wyrażamy im nasze współczucie. Ufamy, że spotkamy się znowu z Pani w domu naszego Ojca. Teraz módlmy się z słowami psalmu. Bóg miłosierny daje odkupienie. Bóg miłosierny daje odkupienie. 
chcemy być z nimi w ciężkiej dla nich chwili. Wierzymy, że śmierć jest początkiem nowego, lepszego życia. A nasza rozłąka ze zmarłymi jest przejściowa. Jeśli zachowasz pamięć o trzech Panie, Panie, któż się ostoi, ale Ty udzielasz przebaczenia, aby Ci ze czcią usłużono. Bóg miłosierny daje odkupienie. Pokładam nadzieję w Panie. Dusza moja pokłada nadzieję w Jego słowo. Dusza moja oczekuje Pana. Bardziej niż strażnicy poranka, nie Izrael wygląda Pana. Bóg miłosierny daje odkupienie. U Pana jest bowiem łaska. U Niego obfite odkupienie. On odkupi Izraela ze wszystkich Jego grzechów. Bóg miłosierny daje odkupienie. Bała Ojcu i Synowi i Duchowi Świętemu. Let me through. 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 My deepest condolences to you, Mr. White. Dusza moja oczekuje Pana bardziej niż strażnicy poranka, jak Izrael wygląda Pana. Bracie i dać Panie, a świętość wiekrysta, niechaj je świeci na wieki wieków nas. Wieczny odpoczynek, bracie i dać Panie, a świętość wiekrysta, niechaj je świeci na wieki wieków. Wieczny odpoczynek, raczej jej dać, Panie, a światłość wiekuista niechaj jej świeci na wieki wieku. Amen. Wieczny odpoczynek, raczej jej dać, Panie, wieczny odpoczynek, raczej jej dać, Panie, a światłość wiekuista niechaj jej świeci na wieki wieku. Amen. Wieczny odpoczynek, raczej jej dać, Panie, a światłość wiekuista if it makes you feel any better, she said it wasn't that Chinese girl. Connie was a bigger person than that. She knew, Stanley. She knew what was going to happen. You should have listened to her once in a while. You were talking to Connie behind my back, Lou? Yeah, I was talking to Connie behind your back. I know Connie even longer than you. Why shouldn't I talk to her if I want to? You know, you and I don't agree on anything anymore. That's your problem, Stanley. You're fighting the whole world all the time. I'm sick and tired of Vietnam as an excuse for everything you guys do. You act like everybody in World War II and Korea came home to a picnic. Well, it wasn't. We lost 50,000 men in Korea, too. We came back and nobody gave a shit either, but we fit it in. Why can't you fit in? What is it that's so different? I don't know what you're talking about anymore. You know what I'm talking about. I know you're not one of them belly-aching professional Vietnam veterans who's making a career out of pissing and groaning about the war. You made something out of yourself. But you're still acting like you're on a fucking crusade, Stanley. You think you got the right to trample over anything and everything. We got an arrangement, a treaty with these Chinese. And however tarnished it is, it works. Life is arrangement, Stanley. Life is getting along. That's why this neighborhood is what it is. That's why eight million people every day in this city can function. Lou, I don't want to argue with you anymore, all right? Honest, I don't. Take it easy. You need anything, you call me, you hear? You want a bed, there's always a bed at my place. You know, your arrangement is what killed Tarby, Lou.
Hi, Hi, Mr. Tai. Mr. Tai. Mr. Tai. People in Chinatown are saying Ronnie Chang was your protege, and his involvement in the murder of Captain White's wife implicates you. Do you have any comments? Of course, there was a terrible tragedy, but I hardly knew Ronnie Chang. Ronnie Chan represents much of what is bad in Chinatown. We are trying hard to get rid of this element. Mr. Tai, my sources say you've just returned from Bangkok. Was there a business purpose for this trip? I have interests there. I import foods from the Far East. I also have a company that distributes films in Thailand. Well, why do you ask? And would this business take you into the jungle 500 miles north of Bangkok to meet with a reputed drug lord by the name of Van Sun? You know there are ethical boundaries, Miss Su, even for the press. Then does the name White Powder Ma ring a bell? All right, cut it. I you know your sources, Miss Su, and I'm going to raise the issue with the legal department. Hey, look, I don't give a shit. I got the new lady district attorney behind me on this thing now. Do you think the NYPD is going to lift a finger for me? No. No, I'm not going to tell you where I am. Hey, look, I'm going to make this case with the DEA, Customs, and Immigration if I have to. The goddamn Eternal Affairs sniffing around again. I bet you it's that fuck Kearney. Give me Scappy Peck on the line over Customs. He owes me a few favors. What'd that son of a bitch say when you hit him with white powder, Ma? What is all this? What's happened? I couldn't work in my office anymore. The walls have ears. I let you use this place, but this is ridiculous. Get off the phone and get these people out of here right now. Got these pecs on the line. No! No more calls. Look at this place. I give you an inch and you take a mile. I want these people out of here right now. I mean it. Look, I don't have time to write you thank you notes. I'm going for Joey Ty's throat and nobody's going to stop me. So just don't break my balls, all right? Just hang in there a little while and you'll be famous. That's what you want, isn't it? You ungrateful, overbearing, self-centered son of a bitch. Don't tell me what I want. That's it. Let me hear it. Ignorant Polak. Everybody, get out! Sit down. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you drive everybody crazy, Kevin, not just me. But she's an aristocrat. You can't push her around too easy. That's an aristocrat? She's from the North, Mandarin. They're like that. Paul Ray right back. This is all bullshit. We're not getting anywhere. Look, that dope is somewhere between here and Thailand. It's on the move. We got to get a tap in Joey Tai's office in the restaurant. You must be kidding me. A white face would never get in there. Impossible, Captain. Oh, come on, Herbert. You could get in there as a busboy or something. After that, uh, plenty of time off for sleep, promotion. No way, Captain. I was a kid from Quang Tun. Kid whose ancestors used to hang in baskets in the Sierras, poking dynamite sticks and cliff faces. All I'm asking you to do is be a fly on the wall. Your ancestors are probably rolling in their grave. Goddamn bullshit, Captain. You're pushing too much. I'm no slave. Look, I give up my security job. I give up my chauffeur job. I send less money home. I'm tired all the time. I don't eat right. I'm getting sick. I die. I'm fucked. My family's fucked. For what? Hey, what do you mean, for what? You don't care nothing for people. You make us all die for you. And let me tell you something, Captain. When your ancestors were living in caves and scrabbling for coal in Poland, the Chinese were sailing the ships across the Pacific. Hey, what do you know about my ancestors? What do you know about mine? We were traders, shipbuilders, explorers. We taught you agriculture. We gave you the orange, the grape, your irrigation system. We dug your gold and silver, Stanley. We taught you how to fish the Pacific. And still, we were bought from American citizenship until 1943. We worked so hard to build your railroads. And when our opium didn't come on time, we were so desperate, we helped each other kill ourselves. I'm not going to kill myself for you, Captain White. No more Chinaman Joe. Those days are over.
be back. He loves me. Look, Stan, you keep pushing it to the limit. I don't know. Maybe we should take him off the case. I mean, he's never been an undercover that lasted more than a month in Chinatown. Hey, let me tell you something. That kid is tough as nails. And I'm gonna make it up to him. Pinna, 為什麼你說話? 你先拿到副市 那Sook這批貨星期二就到了Bangkok 我們的錢在銀行那裡已經全部預備好了 Wade has a wire in your office. Who? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Hey, Perez. I don't want anything to go wrong with this shipment. It's important to me. Don't worry. I want you at the pier. All right, where? The Kazimierz Poleski, Polish, it docks Tuesday. Pier 11. I'll be there. Thanks.
be all right. I'm proud as hell of you. Lev. What? Uh, the dog. Get to Beekman, for Christ's sakes! What was the name of the ship? Dear Herbert, God. what was the name of the ship? Tell 
如果我錯啊，我一定即刻咁啊搞掂佢啦。但係做呢排做啲咁嘅撚嘢，對於冇人有益嘅。我哋同啲鬼佬做嘢，時時都係有福同享，有禍同當嘅。你哋而家唔信得過我，無論如何。我担保你哋，你冇损失嘅。我亲自会去码头攞货。Look, I'm talking about one ship out of Rotterdam, the Kashmir's Pulaski. Tell us the problem. You know how big that ship is, Stanley. We can't go running around ripping up floor plates, cutting boilers open, poking through ten thousand Edam cheeses. Are drilling in a shipment of Danish furniture on your say so, Stanley? It's a lot of money involved. We got passengers. We got waiting time. Besides, it's the flagship of a foreign government. Hey, look! All I'm asking you to do is go through one ship. I got a deathbed confession. A cop died for this. You're pissing against the wind, Ace. Get alive, informant. Your friends are gonna see me. Tonight's the night, honey. Get your crew to Pier 11 and Redwood. We're gonna watch the rice boil over in Chinatown. I have to talk to you. Well, what? What is it? What is it? You're gonna weasel out on me? What? Spit it out! I can't go there. I've been told not to do any more stories on this. What do you mean you've been told by who? By the network, Stanley. Feed me this crap for. There's a war going on down in Chinatown. You're not gonna cover it. Look, I don't think this is the time or the place. Why don't you tell me the time and a place, and we'll go to that place and we'll discuss it. Would you just quit? There's times you have to know when to quit. Oh yeah? Did I ever quit? What's wrong with you? He's dead. Connie's dead. I'm putting my whole goddamn life on the line, and you're sitting here acting like some phony white bread cunt. You're not even white. You're Chinese. Those are your people down there. I mean, are you a reporter? Are you a whore? What? You are a son of a bitch, Stanley. Yeah, well, the day you put your ass on the line, that's the day you'll be a real reporter. My ass on the line. God damn you, Stanley. I was almost killed for you. I was raped, and I'm not gonna die for you. I'm not gonna be pushed like Connie and Herbert. They're dead because you, you pushed you them you until were they were dead. You're like poison, Stanley. Who did this to you? Who? Who? Who raped Three you? Three boys. Who? Three boys. Who raped you? Three Chinese boys, Stanley. You went too far this time and had a fucking joy. It didn't happen to you. It happened to me. You don't give a shit about me, do you? I'm gonna kill him. Leave, Stanley. Go away and leave me alone. You should take a look at yourself, Stanley. You're selfish. You're callous. You're indifferent to suffering. Your wife was right, and you still don't get the message. How many more people are you going to kill before you do? Tracy, I, uh... No, Stanley. Just go away. Leave me alone. Don't say anything. Just go away. Stanley, you weren't in your office. Hello, Lou. 
Francis, I'm disappointed. You didn't show for Connie's funeral. You were warned about Joey Ty. You clean your desk, you're going back to Brooklyn. You've been properly served. I'm sorry, Stars. You're told to lay off. If you think that I'm going to stand for that, you got another thing coming. You don't like it? Resign. You're through anyway. It's all over for you, White. Your balls will be cut off Friday. You're not cops. You're lies, both of you. You don't bend. You break, Stanley. Yeah, I'll break. You care too much, Stanley. How can anybody care? Tell me where the heroin is on the ship, and you walk out of here with a head start. Hey, stand white, you cocksucker! Get the hell down! Give me your gun. What did he say, please? Tell me where it is! Mercedes. Please.
like in Chinatown to a skating pond. On the surface, we see a lovely picture postcard landscape of snowflakes and skaters. But underneath, the cannibal fish, the gangs, the sharks, those who control the gangs, and the whales, the big bosses, all move in deadly swarms. These bosses, some people are beginning to say, are tied into an international crime network with its headquarters in Hong Kong. Everyone denies it. But in the wake of the shootings of Joey Tai and Ronnie Chang, questions are mushrooming left and right. Charges of illegal wiretapping have been leveled by H.J. Young, head of the Hun Sang Association, resulting in the removal of Captain Stanley White. One wonders if this is not a smokescreen to distract from the main issue, which is what part the Hun San plays in this Chinese opera. Tracy Zhu, Chinatown. Okay, that's it. Stanley! Follow him. John, follow Stanley! Him. Where is he going? He's a great cop, but he won't stop. He won't stop. White, goddammit, White, what the hell is going on? I'm arresting these people. You want to do something, you're going to remember Chinatown, Lou. Look him, be a cop again.